hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So this is the third of the four Commander 2018 decks. This is Nature's Vengeance with Lord Windgrace as our primary commander. So this is a black, red, green commander. Good old John the Colours. So let's open this up. As, as I've mentioned with the other decks, uh, so we only have one oversized commander, which has been a thing for quite a while now. I think it was only the very early couple of um, years that they actually had uh, full size, uh, or, or sorry, oversized cards for all three of the commanders. So that's the uh, primary commander and then the two secondary sort of alternative commanders. So we're now just down to one oversized card. Let's just open this up and we'll take a, take a look at the uh, insert again because that gives us a, a clue as to uh, what might be happening in the deck. So same same with all of these. Um, just flip that over but how to play the deck, who the primary commander is, who the two secondary commanders is. So we've got Lord Wingrace. Secondary commanders are Gyrus Walker of Corpses and Thantis the War Weaver. And you notice when you flip it over as I pointed out with the other deck. Um, so we've got Lord, Lord Windgrace, a bit of background story here. Gyra Walk of Corpses, Xanche Sleep Agent, and then Thantis the War Weaver. So you'll notice there's four here. The reason why is because what they've been doing is they put a like a build around uh, Legendary in here, which um, you can then use to basically start constructing your own deck and what you'll find in this deck is like I don't know if it's probably just in two of the three colours so you'd obviously have to completely rebuild the deck it wouldn't be a question of just sort of you know swapping it out because of course you can only play cards in your commander's colour identity so the uh, primary and the two secondaries are obviously in the correct colour identity but that uh, fourth one the build around is in just two colours I believe, but we'll see when we get to it. So let's have a look at Lord Windgrace, shall we? Two black, red, green. So good old Jund colours. Legendary Planeswalker Windgrace. It's five loyalty. Uh, it's plus two is discard a card, then draw a card. If a land card is discarded this way, draw an additional card. Minus three, return up to two. I'm having trouble reading this. Let me just bring this up a bit. Return up to two target land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. If that's any clearer for everybody. And minus 11, destroy up to six target non land permanents, then create six 2 2 green cat warrior creature tokens with forest walk. Gyrus Walker of Corpses X, black, red, green. It's a zero, zero. So obviously there's something here that's probably adding counters. It's a legendary creature, Hydra. Just in case it moves there, that's better. Uh, Gyrus Walker of Corpses enters the battlefield with a number of plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one counters on it, equal to the amount of mana spent to cast it. So that's where the X casting cost comes in. Whenever Gyrus attacks, you may exile target creature card with lesser power from your graveyard. If you do create a token, that's a copy of that card. And that's... Hang on. <laughs> and that's targeted and attacking. Exile the token at the end of combat. And then we have Thantis the War Weaver. Three black red green legendary creature spider so we've got a 
spider commander here. It's got vigilance reach, it's a 5-5. All creatures attack each combat if able. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, put a plus one plus one counter on Thantis the Warweaver. Now we move to our tokens, so something clearly is creating dragon eggs and um, dragons. Dragon egg and dragon. Something else is creating cat warriors and thopters. Cat warriors and elementals. Cat warriors, worms, cat warrior. Worm, so all these are double faced tokens, cat warrior and beast, cat warrior and plant and beast and a plant and an elemental and a thopt token. That's our tokens. Okay, so let's have a quick look through the lower rarity stuff here. We've got loyal subordinate, that's uh. Looks like we're getting several cards in the deck with Lieutenant on them. So we've got Loyal Subordinates, two and a black for three, one, Menace Lieutenant. Loyal Apprentice, one and a red for a two, one, with Haste and Lieutenant. And you'll also notice with the Lieutenant ability, um, the significance is that if you have control of your commander, and you'll notice but what actually it does change is, so for the loyal subordinate, it's uh, each opponent loses three life. For the loyal apprentice, uh, if the, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control your commander, create a 1-1 one, one colourless stop to artifact creature token with flying. That token gains haste until end of turn. And then we've got loyal guardian, which is the one in green. Four and a green for four four lieutenant and that one puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Retita Hagra is in here, that's got landfall on it. Stitch together, that has threshold. Our good old acidic slime. And a Veiloth Woodcrasher. We're probably gonna see uh, lots of stuff that uh, we often find ending up in uh, Jund decks in uh, EDH Commander, that's got landfall on it. Borderland Explorer, consigned to dust with strive on it. We've got cultivate in here and explore, no surprises there. And explosive vegetation. And far wanderings, it's also got threshold. We've got far haven elf in here. Grapple with the past, harrow, Hunting Wilds, Colney Heart Expedition, oh yeah, there we go, <laughs> Sakuri Tribe Elder, so, no surprise there, and uh, Yavimaya Elder, Death Reap Ritual, it's got Morbid on it, Grizzly Salvage, and Putrefy, And Savage Twister. So some old favourites in here. Zendikar Incarnate. A Soul Ring. Whoops. And a single swamp here. We'll have more later. Seems to be a way of dividing the uh, lower rarity cards from the higher rarity. So once again, let's go through the rares here. So Blood Tracker, three in a black. Creature Vampire Wizard, so 2-2 two, two with flying. Single black, pay 2 life, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Blood Tracker. When Blood Tracker leaves the battlefield, draw a card for each plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Emissary of Grudges, 5 and a red, Creature Afrit, 6-5, flying haste. As Emissary of Grudges enters the battlefield, secretly choose an opponent. Reveal the player you choose. Choose new targets for the Target spell or ability if it's controller controlled by the chosen player, and if it targets you or a permanent you control, activate the ability only once. Fury Storm two and two red instant. When you cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone this game. You may choose new targets for the copies. Copy target instant or sorcery spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. 
Nesting Dragon. 3 and 2, red, 5, 4, flying with landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 0, 2, red dragon egg creature token with defender. And when this creature dies, create a 2, 2, red dragon creature token with flying. And red, this creature gets plus 1, plus 0 until end of turn. So that's where our dragon egg and dragon tokens come in. Reality Scramble, 2 and 2, red, sorcery, but target permanent you own on the bottom of your library. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card that shares a card type with that permanent. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. It has a retrace on it. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a land card in addition to paying its other costs. Crash of Rhino Beetles. Four and a green, five, five, creature insect with trample. Crush of rhino beetles gets plus 10, plus 10, as long as you control 10 or more lands. Turn timber sower. Two and a green, three, three, creature elf druid. Whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, create a zero, one green plant creature token. For green, sacrifice three creatures as well and return target land card from your graveyard to your hand. Whip tongue hydra. Five and a green creature lizard hydra. It's a four four with a reach. Whenever whip tongue hydra enters the battlefield, destroy all creatures with flying. Put a plus one plus one counter on whip tongue hydra for each creature destroyed this way. Wind Grace's judgment. Three black green instant. For any number of opponents, destroy target non land permanent that player controls. So here's our build around legendary creature. So when we fancy building a black red commander deck, it's uh, one black red five five legendary creature minion. A Xantra sleep range and enters the battlefield. An opponent of your choice gains control of it. Xantra attacks each combat if able and can't attack its owner or planeswalker its owner controls. Three Xantra's controller loses two life and you draw a card. Any player may activate this ability. Soul of Innistrad's in the deck. Four, two black. Six, six, creature avatar with death touch. Three and two black return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Three and two black exile soul of Innistrad from your graveyard return up to three target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. We've got Avenger of Sendikar in here. 5 and 2 green for 5 5 creature elemental. When Avenger of Sendikar enters the battlefield, create uh, 0 1 green plant creature tokens for each land you control. It's got landfall on it as well. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each plant creature you control. Moonlight Bargain. 3 and 2 black instant. Look at the top 5 cards of your library. For each card, put that card on into your graveyard unless you pay two life and you put the rest into your hand ruinous path one and two black sorcery destroy target creature or planeswalker has awakened four on it so five and two black if you cast this spell for five and two black also put four one one counters on target land you control and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste it's still a land chain reaction Two into red, sorcery, change your action, deals X damage to each creature, where X is the number of creatures on the battlefield. Flame Blast Dragon, Flame Blast Dragon, four, two red, creature dragon, five, five with flying. Whenever Flame Blast Dragon attacks, you may pay X green. If you do, Flame Blast Dragon deals X damage to any target. Okay. I've got Badoka Gardener. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield if you control ten or more lands, flip Badoka Gardener. So it's a flip card, and that flips into Dokai Weaver of Life. Four and two green tap, create an XX green elemental creature token where X is the number of lands you control. Centaur Vine Crusher. Three and a green creature plant centaur with trample. Centaur Vine Crusher enters the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters and equal to the number of land cards in all graveyards. 
When it, whenever a land card is put into a graveyard from anywhere, you may pay two green. If you do, return Centaur Vinecrasher from your graveyard to your hand. It's a 1 1. Moldegraph Monstrosity is in the deck. 4 and, two, four and 3 green. Uh, it's Trample, it's an 8 8 creature insect. When Moldegraph Monstrosity dies, exile it. Then return two creature cards at random from your graveyard to the battlefield. Rampaging Bailoffs. 4 and 2 green with trample and landfall, it's a 6-6. Six, six. With landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create four create a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token. Scoot mob, single green, it's a 1-1. One, one. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control five or more lands, put four plus one plus one counts on scoot mob. It's a creature insect. Charnel horde worm, four black, red, green. Creature Worm with Trample. Whenever a Channel Hold Worm deals damage to an opponent, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. 6-6. Six, six. Got Decimate in here. 3 red green sorcery destroy. Target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. Gaze of Granite. X, 2 black and a green. Sorcery destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost X or less. Lava Launch. X. Black, red, green, sorcery, lava launch deals X damage to target player or planeswalker, and each creature that player or that planeswalker controller controls. Rubble Hulk, four, red, green, it's a star, star, creature elemental. Rubble Hulk's power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands you control. It's got blood rush, so one, red, green, discard Rubble Hulk. Target attacking creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of lands you control. Worm Harvest is in here. Two hybrid black, green, black, green, black, green. It's a sorcery. Create a 1-1 one, one green, black and green worm creature token for each land card in your graveyard. And this has retrace on it as well. So moving on to our artifacts, we've got Sears Sundial. For the cast, it's got landfall. Whenever a land is about foot under your control, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card. Grim backwards taps for colorless. For two, black, green, sacrifice a creature, draw a card. Now we move on to our basic lands here. We've got the swamps, mountains. and forests and in a moment we should have our non-basic lands so again we've got a three color deck here so no doubt we'll see a number of uh, the always popular tap lands and the uh, original Ravnica stuff as well I should imagine so Forge of Heroes this has cropped up in all the decks so far tap um, colorless tap choose target command of that into the battlefield this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on it if it's a creature and a lord to counter on it if it's a planeswalker. Here we go. So Arkham Referee enters the battlefield tap. You gain one life when it enters the battlefield and taps for black or red. Baron Moor, our cycling land in black. Blighted Woodland adds colourless and for three and a green, sacrifice Blighted Woodland. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Got a Bajuka Bog in here, so basically Graveyard Hate. Taps for black, comes into the pay tap, but when it enters the battlefield, you exile all cards from target player's graveyard. Command Towers, going to be in all the decks. Add one manner of any colour in your commander's colour identity. We've got Evolving Wilds in here, so we sack Evolving Wilds. So we'll tap it and sacrifice. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it into the battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. Forgotten cave. So it's our red cycler. Golgari rot farm. So the original Ravnica land which entered the battlefield taps. So they bounce a land. Um, and then you tap them for black green. Got a single swamp here. A ghoul turf. So that's our um, red green bounce land. Halted Fengraft taps for colourless and for three, tap it, sacrifice it, return a creature card at random from your graveyard to your hand. So Jun Panorama, so adds uh, colourless and then for a, for one you tap it, sacrifice Jun Panorama and then search out 
uh, either a swamp, a mountain or a forest card. Put it onto the back for tap, then shuffle your library. Jungle hollow, tap land with the single life gain, for, and then black green. Taps for Zandakar refuge, same thing but uh, red green. Colney garden. <clears throat> so this one enters the battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, you create a 0 1 green plant creature token and taps for green. Mountain Valley enters the battlefield tapped. You sack it, search your library for a mountain or forest card. Myriad landscape, another enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, generates a colorless mana, and then for two, you can uh, tap it, sack it. And then search your library for up to two basic land cards that share a land type. Put them onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle your library. Ractus Carnarium, bounce land uh, for black, red, rocky tar pit, um, black, red, tap, fetch land, savage lands. So this is, uh, we saw a, a different three colour land in, a tricolour land in the other deck. This one's the uh, the Jund one. And we've got Temple of the False God in this one. Um, tap, add two colourless. Activate this ability only if you control five or more lands. I wondered when this was going to turn up. Oh, and there's the Terramorphic Expanse. And uh, so basically the same as a one we've seen before, basically. You sack it, uh, and you can search the library for basic land card. And we've got the green cycler, tranquil thicket, and then warp landscape. So add colorless two tap, sacrifice warp landscape. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Then shovel your library, and there we have it. So that's the Lord Wingrace deck. also referred to as Nature's Vengeance. And we have it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.